Jeff Jenks, Master Gardener here, Santa Clara County, Cupertino, California. It's November 10th, about 11 o'clock in the morning, and this is the, getting to the very end of the warm season vegetables. Here we have uh, the arugula that's uh, still gone to flower, but plenty of leaves le left to be harvested, and the basil, still same thing, gone to seed, flower, and uh, still plenty to harvest in the thyme. I'm disappointed that the chives died earlier in August. I guess they couldn't take the heat. We had that heat wave in August. Here are my tomatoes in my big vegetable planter that's seven feet by 11 feet. And uh, here's one of the holes, I hope you can see it, uh, that I dug to try and get at the gopher that ended up uh, building lots of tunnels underneath the planter. So I've got to think about how to fill those tunnels over the winter. You also want to make sure to take a look at our YouTube channel and find our latest gardening presentation that was posted, uh, Improving Garden Soil Fertility in Fall and, fall and Winter. Now uh, that'll be really useful for me to review myself. These are the uh, sun gold cherry tomatoes that are both prolific and still producing a crop here very late in the season. And uh, among all the other tomatoes in this planter, they're the only ones that are still producing. Well, not quite. There's a couple of super beef steaks that are out there. You can see these are far gone right here. The, there's my shadow. <laughs> you can see the sun's quite low and this planting area is east facing. So by winter, it's really not getting enough sun to do the winter vegetables. Um, right here is my bear's lime tree, which is being incredibly prolific this year, which is nice and really enjoyed the, uh, the brief rain shower we got a few days ago to clean the leaves from all the ash and uh, lots of beautiful limes to be harvested for quite a while and some new ones on their way. If I can get this thing so it's not in the shadow, you can see the, the new, new fruit right here. There they are. Anyway, so just got some sun golds left and uh, if you take, the, take, my, take this walk with me, you'll see the other places where the, where the gophers have been. There's another big hole I dug and I didn't catch one here. And then there's another hole over here on this side here. And oh, guess what? I'm really surprised to find a nice zucchini right here. Um, very late in the season. There it is. And uh, there's no uh, very little powdery mildew, which is very unusual. By this time, most years, these plants would be completely covered with powdery mildew. You can see some leaf miner activity Right, uh, well, right about, uh, you can't see it because of the sun. There's some right here, there you see it. But that's not so bad and just really very little powdery mildew, which is great. And again, the sun gold over here and then here's a corner, another hole in this corner. And this one is a place where I did catch a gopher. And this year, I keep track starting in January. This year I've caught 11 gophers in my yard. Here's my peppers. They're always late. They like a lot of heat and sun and they're not going to get much here. And they're in my earth box right here. There's some green ones. I could pick these pretty soon. Definitely before there's a frost. Although we don't get too much frost below freezing weather here in Cupertino. Um, but um, if I pick them, they'll well redden up on the inside. And here's one of the last remaining um, beefsteak tomatoes. And this is the planter I extended another foot deep and put the same varieties in that I put in this planter that's only one foot deep and frankly uh, I've got about the same yield in both of those and here's a couple of late plum tomatoes this is called Jeff's special plum because I don't know the real variety and there's a long story behind that and of course the last thing we get in the season typically are the eggplant these are a Japanese eggplant here's one that's not quite ready to be picked and then over here there is one that I have picked. I can be picking. I'm not sure you can see it with the sun the way it is. But uh, there it is. And uh, of course the cucumbers that were in here as well, they're far gone. So that's a wrap up. Got a lot of work to do. And again, you really want to take a look at that improving garden soil fertility in the fall and winter on our YouTube channel and our gardening presentations. So, oh, there in the distance, you can see the wonderfully prolific Meyer lemon. Have a great day.